Hey guys, it's Kyle Watts. I gotta talk a little bit low because I'm here in the apartment. What the? Anyways, uh, this is my uh, weight loss food video. Uh, for anybody out there who wants to learn how to eat better, I'm going through the journey myself and learning how to pick better foods and eat right. So as I learn and more stuff, I wanna share these videos online. Obviously, eating fruit's a good choice. Um, at the store, I bought uh, 50 cent each or two for one videos or, or two for one on the oranges. And I thought it was a good buy. I normally go buy some tropical smoothie or something like that. But I mean, those are great options. But let's face it, you get one smoothie, five, six, seven dollars, and then you're done for the day. Me, I work out every day, at least four to six days a week, and uh, I need energy. So after I have a workout, I might need some energy in the morning, which instead of having a Red Bull in the morning, I'm deciding to have oranges now. Something that gives me uh, pumped up and gives me that little, you know, energy I need for the morning. And then later on when I work out, I need some more energy. So I'm not going to keep buying uh, smoothies all day. So, you know, have an orange in the morning, have one in the evening. I can have... Matter of fact, I can have this whole bag of orange for the whole day, and one of these bags equals the cost of one smoothie. So, and that's more than enough energy, if not more, yeah, f that's more than enough energy for a day. All these oranges, 10 per bag. A lot of uh, people will say steak, you know, you should lay off of it if you want to lose weight. But I mean, at $4.19, I mean, how can you say no? And it's freaking uh, Angus at that. I mean, to me, it's like know your body, know what you can eat, and uh, just balance. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to make some spaghetti over here. I got my Prego. Instead of using ground uh, ground beef, I'm using ground turkey. What I normally do is I'll um, cook up a certain amount, and I'll put it in microwave containers like this. So in the morning, I can make wraps for the tortillas. There you see is wheat wheat tortillas and then I'll go over here and make some eggs. So I get some eggs, I get my uh, tortillas, I get some ground turkey, and then I get some cheese that you see over here and I make a wrap every morning. So before I used to use oatmeal and I realized that uh, too many carbs, it wasn't really filling me up and I needed more meat. Uh, Dr. Oz says you should have at least 20 grams of protein in the morning. Uh, go ahead and Google that. Dr. Oz, 20 grams of protein. And uh, that should come up. He mentioned in one of his TV shows. And so I decided to start doing uh, raps in the morning. Also, I learned that from a guy named uh, Bill Phillips. Check out his Body for Life book. And I learned a lot of great healthy recipes. There's a lot of stuff you can eat that you don't think you can have. But if you just replace it with certain things. Like the cheese here. I could have got um, something a little bit lower in fat. But still, cheese is good for you. It's good for your bones. What is that? Nine grams of fat for every one fourth cup. You know, so that's not bad. And uh, instead of using ground beef, I use ground turkey, less fat or whatnot. And I'll carry some uh, chicken breast around. And like I said, I'm making spaghetti for my lunch. So what I'm gonna do is put it in my lunch bag. And I'm gonna make two containers of spaghetti of this. And I just carry my lunch with me, save money. Now I'm all about buying lunch or whatnot, but but it gets expensive. So it's it's better to go ahead and save money and prepare your lunch. Now as I become more successful and I make more money, then yeah, I'll eat out. But until then, I'll make my lunches. And even when I do make more money, it's still nice to make your own food and make something that you made that tastes good. And there's nothing wrong with still eating out too. And I've been eating a lot of refried beans. I went to uh, livestrong.com, uh, I guess it's affiliated with Lance Armstrong and his stuff. I don't know if he's still affiliated with it or not after he got in trouble for, for uh, uh, blood doping and stuff for his career and losing all his medals, unfortunately. Man, I still think he's a cool guy, but sometimes people do the wrong things to become successful instead of doing it the right way. Anyway, I read that on livestrong.com that refried beans are good carbohydrates. Uh, so do your research and just make better food options. I'm on this journey. I'm on this path myself, and I'm just sharing it with you guys. So 
you know what I learned can help you guys out and and pass on the information I didn't know how to eat like this before I just ate McDonald's and I ate bull crap and I still ate slightly healthy but now I eat 80% healthy 90% healthy and 10% of the time other 10% of the time I eat what I want so just learn how to shop pick out better food and learn recipes all right guys hope this helps out Kyle Watts see y'all later all right